Hey everybody, Kazar Alexander here, and this week for PokeCards, I figured I'd do something a little bit different. I'll be uh, uploading the Pokemon Crystal video as always, but, you know, just as uh, something different for you guys, I figured I'd do a list of my top 20 favorite Pokemon. There you go, see how much I love you guys? I'll put this on the front page of my channel so that uh, everyone can see it. Alright, so the ones, the honorable mentions, the ones I just cut off of this list, because uh, I made a list of like 28 to 30 uh, originally, and I cut a few off. Corsola, Girafferig, and Polyrath all barely missed my top 20, so honorable mentions there. So, without further ado, let's get going. Number 20, Flaffy. The stage in between Mareep and Ampharos. I, uh, I really like Flaffy. It's a very cute, fluffy little sheep, and uh, it has electric-type abilities, which uh, electric's one of my favorite elements in all of the generations, so... Yeah, I uh, really like Flappy, it's just very cute. Uh, pink, as you're going to know, will be a uh, theme on this list. Sneasel, coming in at 19. Uh, I like that it's a jumble of things. It's a cat, and it can kind of fly, and it has claws, and it's a uh, weird, dark type. It's like a dark Meowth. I love it. Uh, very cool. So Sneasel coming in at 19. Number 18, Totodile. For some of the... Uh, things on this list, I will cheat kind of a little bit and use their evolutions as well. Totodile is not going to be one of those. I only like Totodile out of his evolutionary set. Crocodon for Alligator, just not my uh, not my style. A little too angry looking for me. Um, but I do like Totodile a lot. Very happy looking Pokemon. Very cute. So I like Totodile. Number 17, Cubone. You gotta love a Pokemon that wears its dead mother's skull as a helmet. How can you not love that? It's cute, it's lonely, and actually it's kind of powerful. Really, really slow, but uh, if you can get it up to a higher level, it's boomerang attacks pretty good. So number 17, Cubone. 16, the only third gen Pokemon I have on this list, Jirachi. I remember watching the Jirachi Wishmaker uh, movie as a kid, and I enjoyed it very much. So yeah, it's one of the coolest legendaries in my opinion. Yeah, I really like Jirachi, very cute Pokemon. Number 15, Vileplume. Love the idea of a Pokemon with a giant flower on its head, but that's also kind of like really deadly. Plus, I like Gloom and Oddish. They're all just very friendly looking things, so uh, number 15 is Vileplume. And, and anything that you can use Solar Beam, I automatically like, because that's one of my favorite uh, my favorite moves. Number 14, Unknown. That's kind of a weird pick. You don't see a lot of people with this and their favorites because they're essentially letters, but I don't know. I, I That's so cool. That was such a cool idea, because then you could just name whatever the hell you catch just one letter makes a nickname so easy I don't know they're kind of cool I, I like the idea of that number 13 Articuno my second favorite legendary uh, this is really the only one of the three legendary birds that I like it's like a big blue cardinal or something I don't know it's awesome uh, and it's cry is one of my favorites ever uh, so I really enjoy Articuno number 12 Vaporeon my favorite of the uh, evolutions of Eevee uh, I don't know, I've always been a, a water type person, that's my favorite element. Um, I don't know, something naturally just drew me to Vaporeon, I love the design. The design was really cool, uh, moveset's awesome, I mean if you have like acid armor and surf and I don't know, I usually, I can't remember my, uh, my list right now, but usually I have acid armor and surf as uh, at least one and two for uh, Vaporeon, and sometimes I'll have Hydro Pump in there. Uh, so that's uh, number 12. Number 11, Squirtle and Evolutions. Now, I told you I would cheat on some of these, and this is one of them. I love Squirtle, Wartortle, and Blastoise. Couldn't put one of them before the other. They're all awesome. They're some of the best designs that they ever came up with. Especially Wartortle. I, I, I really, really like that design. That should have been the, the last evolution, I think. I don't. I, it wouldn't it would have made sense because you did downsize, but I don't know. That's a badass Pokemon. Number 10, Haunter. Why not Gengar? Gengar is pretty cool, but I don't know, I was never as in love with the design of Gengar as I was for Haunter. Haunter just looks like a bad motherfucker. Uh, it was one of the best sprites in uh, in the first gen. In a gen that was really filled with goofy looking sprites, like the old Machop sprite, the old Psyduck sprite, and especially the old Golbat one, this was one of the sprites that was really, really well done and was actually pretty goddamn creepy. I know it scared out a lot of kids when they went into the tower there, and you'd only see it like one out of every 50 times, so it was really cool when you did. So yeah, I, I really like Haunter. Number 9, Cyndaquil and Evolutions. 
I, in my current playthrough of Pokemon, just on my own Game Boy, I have uh, Cyndaquil, well now it's a Typhlosion, but it's named Cinnamon, so Cyndaquils, I have a really easy time naming them, so I always enjoy that, plus it's really, really cute. I love Cyndaquil, and I actually do like all of its evolutions very, very much. Number 8, Raikou, my favorite legendary Pokemon ever. Wasn't a huge fan of, like I said, a lot of the legendary birds. Uh, I hated most of the third gen legendaries other than Jirachi. But uh, Raikou is just an awesome design. He looks really cool. I did like the idea of, uh, of legendary dogs, and the one that was the electric one was just my favorite. Hardest one to catch by far in the second gen of the three of them. Number seven, Psyduck. Underrated Pokemon. Uh, I love the lore of Psyduck in the anime. Uh, just being like the annoying... Uh, I don't know. It was, it was just really awesome. I loved it. Um, I, I like the first gen spread of it too, just always holding its head. I like the idea of something that has a constant headache. I don't know why, but that's just really, uh, really a funny idea for me. Number six, Mischievous, my favorite ghost Pokemon. Really awesome design. I can't picture it being a boy ever. I don't know if it has a gender in the things. I don't remember if it has a gender or not, but really, really awesome Pokemon. It can have a great move set. Number five, Heracross, my favorite bug type. This one's just a badass. Uh, straight up, I just like this guy more for his battle techniques than anything because I rarely ever lose if I have Heracross in my party. His horn attack is really deadly, and he has a super high uh, defense rating. Number four, we're going with Eevee, my favorite of all of the Eevee things. I know I said Vaporeon was my favorite evolution, but I actually like Eevee better just as a base Pokemon, a lot cuter. Uh, easy to draw, which I appreciate, because I'm not a very good artist. This is like one of the only Pokemon I can actually draw, so yeah, I uh, really like Eevee. Number three, Wooper and Evolution Quagsire. I'm actually looking at my list, and it doesn't have that at number three, but I'm going to change it on the go, because that's how crazy I am. Number three, Wooper and Quagsire. Again, couldn't put one in front of the other. Um... In the anime, Wooper's little thing, how it says its name, is like the cutest fucking thing on earth, and I want to squeeze it until it's dead, basically, but out of love, not out of wanting to murder it. Um, Wooper's awesome, Quagsire's awesome. Quagsire has the derp face, which I absolutely adore. I don't know why, but something with a derpy face is just always awesome. Number two, Azumarill. I've said it numerous times, he is my favorite second gen Pokemon by a mile and a half, nothing even close. I don't know why I was so drawn to that design, just, I don't know, it was really cool. I, I never knew why I was so drawn to that design, but, um, love it, love its little cry, and I love the shiny version of it too, that it goes to yellow. Not a lot of, uh, shiny Pokemon do that. Number one, anyone who watches my playthroughs knows this one already, so it won't be a shock to you. Clefairy, my all-time favorite Pokemon. It's cute, it's amazing, it's undebatably the best Pokemon ever. Uh, the story behind, actually, why I love Clefairy so much and how he became, uh, I should say, it, because I don't know, most Clefairies are probably girls, I would, if they look like girls. Uh, the story of how Clefairy became my favorite Pokemon is an interesting one, because when I was a kid, the only board game that I had in my house was the, uh, the Pokemon Monopoly, and I used to always use the Clefairy piece, so much so that I actually took it into my room out of the game box so that nobody else could ever use it. I loved it with every ounce of me, and, uh, I don't have it anymore. I lost it when I was a child, but, uh, yeah, always loved Clefairy very much. He's always been my favorite Pokemon since pretty much day one of me knowing what Pokemon was so yeah guys that wraps up my top 20 hopefully you stuck around through this whole video it's a long ass video so appreciate you guys watching thank you for uh thank you to all my subscribers and viewers i've had a, a kind of a boost lately so do appreciate you guys so much and uh i would like to see you guys uh vote on what you want the next pokemon playthrough to be i know i'm gonna hold a vote soon uh so that my next vba pokemon playthrough has what's called a nuzlocke which means basically a set of ground rules and I'm going to make that up for the next uh, VBA playthrough we do. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you next time.